You want to tell me some shit? Like, no, nigga, let me tell you what it really say. The letter J, God damn it. And then you know Jesus ain't shit but astronomy. What? It's astronomy, nigga. The story of Jesus. Oh, you want to send me a question or you want to tell me some shit? Like, no, nigga, let me tell you what it really say. The letter J, God damn it. And then you know Jesus ain't shit but astronomy. What? It's astronomy, nigga. The story of Jesus is about the representation of the movement of the sun through the 12 constellations. See, brother, that's why he walked around with 12 disciples, because there are 12 constellations and he is the son of God, brother. You see, so as the son of God, he is the son of God, like the sun in the sky, my brother. Pay attention to the analogies, but they put a white man in front. I'll be like, nigga, I know this. <laughs> Nigga, I know the astrological comparison to the sun god with Horus and all of them. I get the number 12. I get the 12 constellation. I get that the end of time is supposed to be an end of an age. I get the translation. I under, I did so much stupid ass research. I be trying to tell y'all. <laughs> I be trying to tell y'all. Nigga, I got so much <laughs> information that the shit is stupid. Why do I know all this? And then come to find out all of this shit was in myself. This is why I use Wizard of Oz. At the end of episode five to make that analogy for the knowledge itself. Because them niggas go through all that shit in Wizard of Oz just to find out anything you need you had. What? <laughs> all that all that motherfucking work. So you know what I use all this information for? To talk to motherfuckers that let the information be a boundary of us having a connection. Like if I walk up to a motherfucker and they tell me, I'll be like, what up, bro? You know, oh no, I'm a I'm a white male. I am not your brother. Like, what up, bro? I'm an Asian. God damn it, I ain't your brother. Oh, what up, bro? I'm a Mexican. I ain't your brother. It's ridiculousness. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's why I tell you, all false God society. Society is what made them dumbass things. Racist and shit like that. Nigga, we can so much fun with all this different shit, but we choose to go the fighting route, I guess. Put the verses in between the reflection. But I get all that shit. All this information... I ain't saying I know everything. I'm definitely not saying that. I, it's probably a ton of information. But what I learned, even internally and using the information, everything has a reflection. These motherfuckers is giving you analogies. Even when we're talking, we're talking in analogies without even understanding that's what we're doing. A motherfucker tell you the story of Jesus and another motherfucker tell you that's the, that's the story of Krishna. You just actually don't have a few things right. Who the fuck cares? What makes the story good? What if I told you the story of Moses? There was another baby. Uh, what was his name? Sargon. What if I told you about Sargon and told you that? Well, that mean motherfucker lying. Moses ain't real because Sargon was put in a little basket and floated up, up the water to safety. Fuck the specifics of the story. Get what it's telling you. Understand that it's you. This is the shit. That I, that's why I tell motherfuckers the power in the question. I'm trying to speak to your motherfucking vibration. I'm trying to speak to your essence. Because if you're so focused on this surface shit, you're missing a whole realm of existence. But you see what I mean, guys? Like I can go down that path right now and make that the episode. Fuck you, tell me. That's how. That's how I told y'all. This conscious. This shit exploring my consciousness is fun than a motherfucker. And I'm hoping you guys are seeing what I'm doing. I'm not trying to tell you, man. I know everything. I'm the motherfucker everybody should listen to. Even though, <laughs> even though I do feel a motherfucker should just listen to my, ep like you motherfuckers read all this other bullshit. Y'all listen to this other bullshit. Just go through my shit. Run through, run through the shit I put out and go through and, and find a way to prove to me I'm wrong. Go to my Instagram, send me a message and show me I'm wrong. But first you got to listen to it. That's the whole concept. That's the only thing I ask. Like, I got people that ask to come on my show. Hey, my niece says she might come on my show. Oh, I love my niece. My oldest niece. Oh, that motherfucker crazy. <laughs> love you, Kaka. Uh, my oldest niece. Uh, I think my oldest um, niece and my oldest nephew are kind of crazy because of me. And I know they had their own experience and shit they had to go through. And they fucking, I admire them. I admire them for their strength. You know. I got other niece too. Look, 
these motherfuckers. Them, look, them motherfuckers that I was, because I was a kid, you know, so I'm coming up. Told y'all I became a nephew. I mean, I became a nephew. I became an uncle for the first time when I was six with my oldest nephew. Um, somebody sent me a message about story time with Q because I'm talking about when me and my nephew almost get killed over some Funyuns. Motherfucker sent me a message like, you could almost had your nephew killed. <laughs> I was like, I know, nigga, listen to the story. No, <laughs> stop judging people. Judge not lest ye be judged. Didn't they say some shit like that in the book y'all love? <laughs> but no, so I kind of think because I was around them and I was crazy, it's like I'm still the uncle. I'm not that much older than them. And then, so it was like, basically, we didn't have adults. They didn't have an adult because I was too young. And I didn't have a adult because I was tripping. <laughs> so motherfuckers look crazy. But I like how they flipped it, though. They they took that shit and didn't let it destroy them, you know? And they they are a testament to what I'm talking about. I feel like my nephew here, you know, probably be like, oh, no, uncle, you know, it's big ass. And I told him motherfucker bigger than me. Motherfucker, no, uncle, I appreciate what you did. You know, you used to talk to me. And maybe I did. Maybe I, because I always had this feeling of wanting to help and I always felt like I understood things. So even when I was fucked up and crazy, it's nice to know that they can still pull from the positive things, you know, in my opinion, that I tried to bestow upon them. But yeah, so my niece, she thought she want to come get on the, on the show. She was like, I don't care, uncle. I want to talk about, hey, hey, let me tell you something. Y'all remember I told y'all my guy Jay funny. My niece. This motherfucker came and visited the house a couple years back. My niece is so fucking hilarious. You ever been laughing so much that the back of your head hurt? You know what I'm talking about? Like, you've been laughing, so you smiling, and the, you don't even realize you use the back of the muscle, the muscles in the back of your motherfucking head to laugh. Nigga, that shit was hurting. Fuck cheeks, nigga. The laugh wrapped around my face. She had me laughing for so long. And laughing so hard at the shit she was saying. This motherfucker was on a roll. Like, it was like Earthquake or some shit. She was like Chris Rock on Bigger Blacker. Like, she just was joke after joke after joke. Nigga, I couldn't breathe. Nigga, I said she is killing her uncle. <laughs> this motherfucker is hilarious. But she's so fucking smart. And I ain't talking about no concept like, well, she went to Harvard and then graduated summa cum laude. I don't give a fuck about that shit. That's just how good can you remember. How intelligent are you? What kind of thoughts can you manifest? How can you use that God power? Nigga, all that information is just information. How you discern the information. Your ability to break down and create your own perspective on the information. That's what's amazing. That's what intelligence truly is to me. That's when I start calling motherfuckers geniuses. Like I think J. Cole is a genius. I think Kanye West is a genius, too. I just think Kanye West doesn't have the brilliance, in my opinion, to articulate it in a way that people understand. I think Kanye speaks from his level of understanding, which I think he's a fucking genius. But his presentation, the way he articulates what he's trying to say, I feel is not as palatable, nor is it as, it's not even palatable. I think it's the fact that like he he doesn't say it in a way where i think people can grasp what he's saying and i get everything comes from shock i get that i have an analogy for almost every analogy you guys have ever heard i was just talking to somebody telling them that you know what i should do i should go through every episode where i do a speaking on one perspective versus its reflection and do the whole episode speaking from the reflection like how I just, oh, you guys, yeah, I'm going to try to put love or convenience up before this one. So, shouts out to us, y'all. We did that shit. Fuck you talking about? That's right, because I do it for the kids. I, I, I do it for the kids. <laughs> but I finally got love or convenience out. And that shit, oh, I'm still not done with that. Oh, I'm coming back to that topic. You guys don't know that love shit, that relationship and dealing with another God. Dude, that's my shit. Oh, I got so much shit. It's. Oh, I I could do this whole show about love. That's how much shit I got to say about that. But I'm thinking about doing love or convenience and just speaking from the other perspective. Because when I come up to a, a perspective of my own, it's because I went through the other side of whatever perspective I have. I have its reflection. 
Then I went through that thing in every version of myself, my angry version of myself, my sad version of myself, my arrogant version of myself, my hopeful version of myself, my pessimistic version of myself. This is what I mean when I tell you guys I'm like the people in my head. I break things down that I information that I get. I break that shit down in so many ways that when I come up to a perspective, understand it went through a lot to be here. Like, you know, I say you make a thought out of nothing because you're a God, like a big bang. For these perspectives to exist and me say this shit, they had to go through the ringer. I can tell you guys, I have thoughts. I've talked to people that have talked to me, have heard me say this. Well, I'll say I don't like bringing up things or thoughts or perspectives in their infancy because I have so many ways that I can think of it. I'm trying to figure out which one it should be. And mind you, this is not the episode about the people in my head, but just to give you guys a little sneak peek of when I finally break that shit down. <laughs> but your ability to discern information to me, like I feel like you can be very informed with a lack of wisdom. If I give you a bunch of information about some lies and some bullshit or some things that are going to do nothing but hurt you and the people around you, and you learn that shit better than me. You know it word for word. So you start acting off the information I gave you. Because that's the only thing you know. You didn't think about how it would affect you. You didn't think about how it would affect the people around you. You didn't think about how that effect can trickle down. That's where the intellect comes in. That to me is what can make you a genius. But just taking a bunch of information and you remember this shit. That just makes you a fucking manipulated slave to something that you don't even know who the fuck your master is.